So I wanted to make a quick video just talking about the wiring of this. Um, so basically what I have here is the, I guess, uh, rebel joint here. Um, coming out the uh, back of it here, I have the can high and low. And the can high and low uh, goes into that breadboard over, over there. And what I have right now is it going to uh, can zero and can one on the Raspberry Pi. I have it terminated with a termination resistor at each end. That's why those two jumpers are there. Um, I also have another can high and low coming off of that and going to the uh, peak uh, USB adapter here so that I can control it with the actual iGuess software. Um, so that is, you know, another way to control it. Um, and then I also have five volts coming off of the Raspberry Pi going to the uh, center pin, or I believe it's the center pin, yep, on uh, that jumper there because that is how you get the five volts there. So that's the wiring setup. Um, now it's very important that whatever supplying the five volts to this, which in this case, this Raspberry Pi is powered through that 24 volt power supply, okay? That 24 volt power supply powers that um, transformer, which takes 24 volts and goes down to five volts, which powers through the normal plug here, um, the Raspberry Pi. I take the five volts off of that and go to here and then power and ground on the iGUS controller here come from the 24 volt uh, direct, which is coming out of that breakout over there. Um, so it's really important that the ground on the Raspberry Pi and the ground on the iGUS are both shared, which is uh, from this 24 volt power supply.